Now, as we close this morning, there are unseemly things to come in the book of Judges. And what I mean by that, there are things coming up in the book of Judges that you would not share with your great-grandmother when you drink tea together. Okay? There are unseemly things coming. But here's one clue in your Bible interpretation and in your Bible reading. If something happens in the Bible, the narrative part of the Bible, that does not mean that it's normal (laughs) or accepted by God. So the Bible as as a real and living book recording the lives of those who have come before us in the faith records the good, the bad, and the ugly. And when you come across something in the Bible and it disturbs you, also know that God recorded both the righteous things and the sinful, wicked, ugly things to be both an encouragement to us and a warning to us. And so there's a, there's a Bible interpretation expression that narrative does not equal normative. Some things in the Bible are descriptive and some things in the Bible are prescriptive. See the difference there. When the Bible here in the end of the book of Judges is going to describe truly what happened, and it's nasty, and it's unseemly, that doesn't mean God is prescribing it to do in any approval or affirmation. Rather, the Bible records both the sin and the good works of God's people. And what we find through clues and through words in the Scripture alongside in the context is that God always approves of the good. God always shines His face upon the righteousness of His people. And God always disapproves and punishes the sin of His people. The Bible is a real book. It records real life. And so to those who will read it, not only to learn, but to live it and to accept it by faith, realize just because it's in the narrative does not mean that God was heartily in approval, but rather this is something God recorded for our warning that we might walk not in that way, but in the other path, the way of life and wisdom and love. Let us pray.